Greetings, YouTube. This is Mike Haley 7. Still the 29th of June, 2020. Or 30th of June, sorry. And uh, today's topic is where are you from? That's not really a topic, but in the comments, just briefly, tell me where you're from. And if you know of a great road to ride where you live, share that as well. I'm sure other people would like to read the comments and find out where everybody's from and what good roads there are to ride. Where are you from? Now, when I say where are you from, I don't mean like where, where were you born. I mean, where are you living now? Are you going to... What are you going to do there? Okay, you're going to back up. If you want to say where you're from originally, I guess, and a good road there, but... All right, I'll... I'll start off with where I live and what's a good road to ride. So where I live is the Raleigh area. And if you go down to Fuquay Arena and you hit 42 heading west, southwest on 42, then you will uh, have a great time heading, heading towards Sanford and beyond. Very nice road. So that's a nice road in this area. If you're uh, going to be up in Boston anytime, a road that I used to like to ride my bicycle on, which is a pretty far distance for a bicycle, but it's great on a motorcycle too. A lot of little twists and turns. It's, it's slow because it's Massachusetts, but it's very scenic and there's ocean and plenty of places to stop and great places to eat. Uh, go up Route 127. I believe it's 127, yeah. Uh, go 127 all the way from basically um, Lynn to uh, Rockport, Gloucester, Rockport. Beautiful ride, beautiful ride. All right, so let's get to the real topic at hand today. What was it? Oh, yeah. How, how is Honda... How is a Goldwing not the same, not better, than an Ultra? That's a, a, a thing that really nobody ever does, right? How is an Ultra better than a Goldwing? How is a Goldwing worse than an Ultra? Because I owned both, so I can tell you. And let's just, let's pretend that, that mine was stock. Because... That's how you get them, right? You get them stock unless you get them used. Okay, so the first thing I, I you got to say about Harley is the iconic look. You cannot beat the iconic look. And part of that is because it's been around so long, but the other part is the fit and finish. They use fiberglass. They use high-quality plastic. They have really amazing paint. I mean, the bikes look gorgeous. There's no fighting that. You can't say they don't. They do look gorgeous. So that's definitely one way that an Ultra beats uh, one of these. This is, you know, it's utilitarian. It does all the things. But for me anyway, I don't stand there and stare at it all the time. On a Harley, it's easy to do that. You can just sit there and stare at it all day. This bike, you want to ride this bike. You want to get on this bike and dip it and do all your magical things. I mean, you want to ride a Harley, too, but... All right, so that's the first thing. Second thing, obviously, is storage. I mean, Harleys have a whole ton of storage. So, uh... That's a good thing. And the top case, the, uh, the, the tour pack, you can get that luggage rack on it, and that thing is awesome. Carry extra stuff on there. So, tons of storage. Uh, for comfort, I would say they're about the same, really. 
I mean, I, I've had the stock seat now for over a year, and I'm still fine with it. I never had a stock seat on a Harley over a year that I was fine with. I always had to change them out. Maybe it's because this is heated. I don't know why, but I've, I've not had a problem with this stock seat. A lot of people have. They say it's too hard. But for me, nah. And I, I've got a, an issue with, with stuff down there. Let's put it that way. And even with all my issues, I've got no problem. Now, on that, on the Ultra that I had, I added a road Zeppelin seat. That thing was awesome. If you haven't tried an air ride road Zeppelin seat, man, you got to try one because they are just beyond the beyonds. Oh my goodness! If I could have transplanted that onto this bike, I probably would have. But then I would have lost the benefit of the heating. If they have, if you know of any heated seat that is also inflatable, adjustable seat, you let me know, and I'm there. Help! It's got cooling too. Man, take my money. Let's see, another way that a Harley is better than a Honda Goldwing. A Harley Ultra is better than a Honda Goldwing. Uh, probably the radio, yeah. Yeah, the sound system on the uh, stock Ultra is better than the sound system stock on this. Especially with road noise and such. And I think part of that is because the pipes are louder on a Harley. And then maybe they know that you're going to be modifying it to make it even louder. So they make the stereo louder. I don't know. But the, the stereos on the Ultras are better than the stereos on the Gold Wings. And that's from my direct experience. So that's another way that uh, the Ultra is better than a Gold Wing. Can I think of anything else? I'm sure there's other stuff. Maybe the weight of the, the Ultra, even though it's heavier, it, that weight comes in handy on windy roads, like in Kansas. That was a windy-ass trip, and I think Moose had it easier than I did. This bike was lighter, because it's I think it's 840 pounds, this bike. So, that definitely uh, gets moved around a bit in the wind. I mean, I, I adapted fine. Because you have to. When you're riding all the way across from, from uh, Colorado to Missouri... That wind is going to get you. You're doing this the whole damn time. Here's another thing that, that's better about owning a Harley in general than a Honda. And not that you can't go to them, but you feel more comfortable going to them when you have a Harley, because you've got a Harley. It's the, uh, the dealership stuff. You know, go and have a have a soda, have some donuts, coffee, whatever. Chat with the other guys. If you're on a Honda or non Harley, it feels a little bit weird. Then you might take some ribbing. I haven't yet because I haven't really gone to one. I mean, I did go with the guys out in Hickory that time, right after I bought this, and I was fine. And if you're good about the ribbing, you can always give as good as you get, right? It's going to rain. Plus, the dealer network is, um, they're everywhere. Harley dealers are everywhere. At least they are right now. I don't, who knows in 10 years, right? Golly. When I broke down, well, broke down when, when Jay flattened my tire in eastern Colorado, uh, the nearest dealership for, for what I needed was 170 miles away turns out that the Harley dealership was even farther away than that. <laughs> so, it doesn't always work in your favor. So that's another thing that I like about Harleys that you don't get with a Honda. I mean, you can go to a Honda dealership, but they don't have, it's not quite the same. The community is another one. I don't take advantage of the Harley community the way a lot of people do. A lot of people go to all the hog events and the rides and the this and that. So and I, I used to go to that stuff more when I was a new rider, when I was younger, into that kind of scene. And now I, I, I stopped going on the Ultra long ago because it just wasn't my crowd. But if you're into that kind of thing, then it's great. I mean, you make all kinds of friends. You have a good time. 
So uh, I would definitely recommend that. And I, I don't know if you not noticed that cop there on the right. He might be sitting there thinking, all right, this guy is going to go really fast through this, this road up here because, you know, this road is where people like me go fast. But... Let me see if I can... I'm just going to let it go, let it go, because this part of the road is not the road, the part I want to go fast on. It's just a couple of twists up there that I'm going to be liking. So just leisurely take it easy. If, uh, if you like the slow and leisurely pace, then yay. Uh, while I'm sitting here going slow, let me, let me show you something. Okay, hopefully you can see this, where my foot is. Hopefully this part will work out. People say, well, you know, I don't like the little foot peg because it's not as comfortable. Okay, I had an Ultra for years and years. I had a Road King, da 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 da. This actually affords you more flexibility in where you put your foot. Watch this, ready? I'm riding regular, okay? I can move it back, I can move it on my toe, I can move it on the ball of my foot, on the sole of my foot, on the heel of my foot. I can move this thing all the way around, which is not, which was not possible on my Ultra because I had the, the heel shifter, okay? And I can point my toe out real easy, so I really like this. I mean, this this ability to do this, and then I can scoop my foot in, so when I'm doing twisties and stuff, I don't have to worry about my foot. I think that this gives me more freedom of movement than my old footboards ever did. And on the right side, it's also great because of the way the brake pedal is. You don't have to lift your foot to go to the brake pedal like you do on a Harley. You just... Um, go down forward and down so it's it's more intuitive in my opinion oh now see i violated my rule i was only going to talk about how our ultras are better than harleys i mean ultras are better than gold wings oh well i'm too busy looking in the mirror here we go too bad. I always get nervous, you know. I'll do it again. Go the other way. And then I will finish this moto vlog. Alright, let's see how I do on this one. Yeah, that was great. Oh, I felt very happy on that. I flicked into sport mode. I repositioned my body. Yeah, I felt really good. All right. This is my Kaylee 7. Having fun out in the road. I'll talk to you later.